Now after you had your breast reconstruction with an implant, there are several things that I would really ask you to do. One, make sure that somebody is available to kind of take care of you so that it can make things easier for you because it's going to be uncomfortable. Um, I would ask you to wear a support bra just to maintain some light compression on the reconstruction so that things don't shift. Um, I would want you to minimize your strenuous activity level. Uh, so just really take it easy for the first couple of weeks especially until things can really heal. Now once your reconstruction is completed, there are some things that you need to do. So one is to um, make sure that you realize that implants aren't lifetime devices. They don't last forever, unfortunately. So that means that we're going to have to get some sort of surveillance in place. So I would ask you to get an MRI or an ultrasound at the five or six year mark. Uh, and if everything is okay, then we would just continue to follow and get another MRI or ultrasound every two or three years after that. Uh, I would like to see you back in the office on an annual basis just so we can make sure you're doing okay and I can make sure that everything hasn't uh, changed or shifted and make sure that you're still comfortable and happy with the results. Natural breast implants important safety information and approved uses. Breast implants are not considered lifetime devices. The longer people have them, the greater the chances are that they will develop complications, some of which will require more surgery. Breast implants have been associated with the development of a cancer of the immune system called breast implant associated anaplastic large cell lymphoma, BIAALCL. This cancer occurs more commonly in patients with textured breast implants than smooth implants, although rates are not well defined. Some patients have died from BIAALCL. Patients receiving breast implants have reported a variety of systemic symptoms such as joint pain, muscle aches, confusion, chronic fatigue, autoimmune diseases, and others. Individual patient risk for developing these symptoms has not been well established. Some patients report complete resolution of symptoms when the implants are removed without replacement. Who can get breast implants? Natural breast implants are approved for the following. Breast augmentation for women at least 22 years old for silicone-filled implants and for women at least 18 years old for saline-filled implants. Breast augmentation includes primary breast augmentation to increase the breast size and revision surgery to correct or improve the result of a primary breast augmentation. Breast reconstruction. This includes primary breast reconstruction to replace breast tissue that has been removed due to cancer or trauma or that has failed to develop properly due to a severe breast abnormality. This also includes revision surgery to correct or improve the result of a primary breast reconstruction. Who should not get breast implants? Breast implant surgery should not be performed in women with active infection anywhere in their body, women with existing cancer or precancer of their breast who have not received adequate treatment for those conditions, women who are currently pregnant or nursing. What should I tell my doctor? Tell your doctor if you have any of the following conditions as the risks of breast implant surgery may be higher. Autoimmune diseases, example lupus and scleroderma, a weakened immune system, example taking medications to decrease the body's immune response, planned chemotherapy or radiation therapy following breast implant placement, conditions or medications that interfere with wound healing and blood clotting, reduced blood supply to breast tissue, clinical diagnosis of depression or other mental health disorders including body dysmorphic disorder and eating disorders. Those with diagnosis of depression or other mental health disorders should wait for resolution or stabilization of these conditions prior to undergoing breast implantation surgery. What else should I consider? There is a box warning for breast implants. Please see bold text at beginning. Many changes to your breasts following implantation are irreversible. If you later choose to have your implants removed and not replaced, you may experience dimpling, puckering, wrinkling, or other cosmetic changes, which may be permanent. Breast implantation is likely not a one-time surgery. The longer implants are in place, the greater the potential risk for complications. You will likely need additional surgeries on your breasts due to complications or unacceptable cosmetic results. Thus, you should also consider the complication rates for later revision surgery, since you may experience these risks in the future. Cancer treatments and surgery will affect the outcome and timing of breast reconstruction. Breast implants may affect your ability to breastfeed, either by reducing or eliminating milk production. Rupture of a silicone breast implant is most often silent. Even if you have no symptoms, you should have your first ultrasound or MRI at five to six years after your initial implant surgery, and then every two to three years thereafter, regardless of whether your implants are for augmentation or reconstruction. If you have symptoms of or uncertain ultrasound results for breast implant rupture, an MRI is recommended. Additional imaging may be required depending on your medical history and status. The health consequences of a ruptured silicone gel-filled breast implant have not been fully established. Routine screening mammography for breast cancer will be more difficult, and implants may rupture during the procedure. Perform self-examination every month for cancer screening and ask your surgeon to
to help you distinguish the implant from your breast tissue. Lumps, persistent pain, swelling, hardening, or changes in implant shape should be reported to your surgeon and possibly evaluated with imaging. What are key complications with breast implants? Key complications include reoperation, implant removal with or without replacement, implant rupture with silicone filled implants, implant deflation with saline filled implants, and capsular contracture, severe scar tissue around the implant. Other complications include breast pain, swelling, asymmetry, wrinkling, rippling, implant malposition, nipple complications, hypertrophic scarring, and implant palpability visibility. Talk to your doctor about other complications. For more information, see the patient brochures at www.allergan.com products. To report a problem with Natrell breast implants, please call Allergan at 1-800-624-4261. The sale and distribution of Natrell breast implants is restricted to licensed physicians who provide information to patients about the risks and benefits of breast implant surgery.